असलम उम्मीद है कि आप लोग खैरियत से होंगे वेलकम बैक टू येट नदर एपिसोड दिस वन जेटल स्पेशल क्योंकि हम इस एपिसोड में उस चीज़ के बारे में बात कर रहे हैं जो आप 24 घंटे 365 सिक्सटी फाइव डेज होती है देखे बगैर नहीं रह सकते जी हाँ मैं आपकी फ्रेंड्स एंड फैमिली के बारे में बात नहीं कर रहा आई एम इन फैक्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट ए रेक्टेंगुलर बॉक्स यू गाइज आर एडिक्टेड टू मैं बात कर रहा हूँ इस चीज़ के बारे में Remember the the time when you had to to walk towards the TV and actually physically turn a knob to change channels? It was a much simpler time. Alif Noon, Alpha Bravo, Charlie, to name a few, were some of the good shows that we all used to sit together in front of the TV set and watch. Fast forward to 2020. आज आपके पास number of devices, number of streaming platforms, and the amount of content on those platforms is so huge कि आपका सारा टाइम चूज करने में निकल जाता है इंस्टेड ऑफ एक्सपीरियंसिंग दोज मूवीज एंड दो शोज एंड नॉट टू मैंशन सो मेनी टर्मिनोलॉजीज एंड जॉगन्स टू अंडरस्टैंड थैंकफुली आई एम हेयर टू मेक लाइफ अ लिटिल ईजियर फॉर यू बट इससे पहले कि हम उन जागन्स में घुसें लेट मी क्लैरिफाई दैट दिस एपिसोड इज नॉट गोइंग टू कवर ऑल काइंड ऑफ स्क्रीन क्योंकि दे आर लॉट आउट देर प्रोजेक्टर्स टी वी स्क्रीन मोबाइल फोन लैपटॉप दे इज अ लॉट टू कवर इन वन एपिसोड आई मीन कोई भी एक घंटा बैठ के यूट्यूब का कॉन्टेंट नहीं देखना चाहेगा अनलेस यूर मी दैट्स अ टॉपिक फॉर अ डिफरेंट डे सो इन दिस एपिसोड वी गन फोकस ऑन अ स्पेसिफिक काइंड ऑफ स्क्रीन विच इज कंप्यूटर मॉनिटर्स To make this all possible for me, my friends at Za Computers hooked me up with all kinds of monitors: ultra high-res 4K monitors, gaming monitors, ultra wide monitors. You name it, they sent it over. So once you're done watching this video, click on the link in the description. Hook yourself up with a brand new monitor. These guys provide great service and are super professional. I myself purchased two monitors. The one behind me is an ultra wide 38 inch monitor that I got for myself. It's pretty color accurate. I do most of my work on it. There's another 4K that I bought and I'm very happy with the service. So go check them out. But after you're done watching this video. So let's check out what they sent over. So which monitor should you get? इसका जवाब देने के लिए we need to clarify कि आप किस category के अंदर fit होते हैं This video is just a guide. It is not to tell you which specific model you should pick up. It's to follow some guidelines and make your next purchase a little easier. So what do you use the monitor for? Predominantly gaming, watching movies, working on it, or a mix of all of them? The following recommendations are going to cover a variety of price ranges so you should know what budget you have and according to those specifications you can get a number of displays so let's get into it category 1 gaming Now my recommendations are obviously my own opinions and I have played on all kinds of screens and I have come to the conclusion that the ultra wide high refresh monitor is the sweet spot for your gaming needs 144 hertz and a 32 by 9 aspect ratio are the highlights to look out for. Meri gaming ki journey shuru hui thi at 800 by 600 pixel VGA monitor ke sath. Aur wahan se maine Need for Speed, Tomb Raider, Doom 3 sare ke sare games khel ke eventually outgrow kar liya. 
Seven years ago, the gaming experience was good. But why has it improved drastically in the last few years? For two reasons. Ultra wide and high refresh rate. If you can get both of those in a single monitor, you cannot have a better gaming experience. That's my humble opinion and I can't go back. Sure, up sare titles ke saath ye 100% ultra high super RTX mode pe unlock nahi kar sakte but with only a little compromise you can easily run a 3840 by 1080 pixel 144 hz monitor at decent frame rates ek dafa aapne ultra wide gaming experience kar li you are not going to go back trust me especially if you are into first person shooters PUBG, Fortnite, Call of Duty, जो भी गेम लगाएंगे ट्रस्ट मी योर माइंड कैन बी प्लो नाउ शो दे आर मेनी अदर मॉनिटर्स आउट देयर बट इन माई ओपिनियन इफ यू टॉकिंग अबाउट द बेस्ट ऑफ द बेस्ट सेव अ फ्यू बक्स एंड बाय एन अल्ट्रा वाइड थैंक मी डेट कैटेगरी नंबर टू मूवीज ये कैटेगरी बहुत आसान है दिस इज डिटेटेड बाय वन सोल फैक्ट द एस्पेक्ट रेशियोज इन विच मूवीज आर मेड यूजली मूवीज आर मेड इन अ रेशियो दैट इज 21 वन बाय नाइन विच मीन्स इफ यूर टॉकिंग फोर के इट्स थर्टी एट फोर्टी बाई सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड पिक्सल दैट्स द स्वीट स्पॉट फॉर यू टू अवॉइड एनी काइंड ऑफ लेटर बॉक्सिंग ऑन ईदर साइड ऑफ द स्क्रीन क्लोज इनफ इट्स ऑलमोस्ट ए मूवी थिएटर एक्सपीरियंस प्रोवाइडेड यू हैव अ कम फीचर I mean that's as simple as that. No gaming monitors, no super ultra wide monitors are going to fit this category because you need to fit that aspect ratio. So if you primarily want to watch movies and do a little bit of gaming, you can pick up a 21 by 9 ultra wide monitor. It's my recommendation because I use one as well. The one behind me is a Dell 38 inch ultra wide. It's a 3840 by 1600 pixel 60 hertz monitor. So unless you're gaming competitively, 60 frames per second is pretty good in a campaign, especially for those kind of third person and slower paced games. That's my recommendation. Moving on to the next category. Walk Now this category is one that I feel is the most complex. If you work mostly on spreadsheets and word documents, then uh, color accuracy and high refresh rate is not a concern for you. What you need is good vertical real estate. I am talking a 16 by 10 monitor specifically. If you're looking for a 2K monitor that's 2560 by 1600 pixels. Now here I would urge you to think about aesthetics mode. I mean a gaming monitor is crazy looking, but it probably won't work on an office setting. So you need a monitor that's very clean, minimalist and does the job. On the flip side, if you're into content creation, you do video editing, you're a Photoshop expert, then you would need a color accurate display. Now that means bumping up the resolution to 4K. That's 3840 by 2160 pixels. I wouldn't want to go any lower because all the content that's coming in the future is going to be higher than 4K. So the minimum standard of 4K is essential for any content creator right now unless you export 1080p only. For you guys, the main thing here is color accuracy. sRGB 100% coverage is essential. And a close to 100 DCI-P3 color gamut rating needs to be something that you professionals need to look for. Now I know most of you who have done a little bit of Google searching for even 10 minutes are going to find that there's so much information out there that it becomes really confusing really fast because there are deals to consider, new technologies on the way and availability in your region. All those factors kind of dictate which particular brand you're going to buy. That's specifically the reason why I have not mentioned names in this particular video because I want you to understand what the guidelines are. But if you do find a specific model online that you like, click the link below, go to the website and get in touch with Zar Computers because they'll hook you up easy. Itni sari baatein karne ke baad agar aapko phir bhi samajh nahi aaya ki kaun si screen aapke liye best hai I've actually made a cheat sheet for you guys. Go to the description below, click the cheat sheet link and that will give you an indicator of what is best for you. I hope this video made at least one thing a little clearer for you and I'd love to hear what you want me to cover next in my next video. Until then, this is Dan out. Peace.